Growers changed to using IPM from a conventional pesticide based approach for a range of reasons. Insecticide resistance is one, but there's also opportunities as far as export is concerned because even though certain products are available and legal in Australia, some overseas countries won't allow fruit to be exported to their countries if certain products have been used. So any reduction in pesticide use is not just uh, savings in you know, cost of chemicals uh, and it's not just dealing with resistant pests. There's also a very real advantage in increasing the opportunity for export. As far as IPM in apples and pears goes, we think that there are a lot of tools available. It does work and there's really no reason for growers to be frightened of trialling IPM on a, on a small area or on a block or something like that. So we've worked with an apple grower in Victoria uh, who was interested in trialling IPM. Their current approach was working quite well but again because of the desire to export fruit anything that would reduce the use of certain insecticides was going to be a good thing. So we worked through a plan and then implemented that on one block as a, as a trial and uh, it was highly successful. They were interested in reducing pesticide use in general, but the main result was the elimination of miticides from that crop for the entire season. If growers are currently using a pesticide-based approach, the most difficult thing to get their head around is the fact that biological control can contribute massively. So we're talking about naturally occurring biological control in most cases. And so the, getting the confidence to withhold pesticides is often the most difficult task. So we suggest people contact someone like us to, to help them make a, a strategy for the season and then implement it just on a, a small area, not the whole farm, just, just try it. And confidence comes by seeing the results locally.